Hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Welcome to boot camp. You know boot camp. That's where they take the raw recruits into the army. And those men and women come in and they, they get uh, um, worked from daylight till dark and probably beyond. I don't know, I wasn't in the military. Dad was, and he said boot camp was really tough. Uh, that, you know, the, 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 you run, you run, you run, you run, you run, you wait, you wait, you wait, you run to wait, you uh, eat, but you just work out. It is a workout because our military is trained to go into battle. And in battle, sometimes you're simply reacting, but you live off of your training. And if you're not trained right, you may not handle the battle right. Now, why do I say this to you this morning? Because this morning in my quiet time, I was reading Psalm 144, and that psalm begins with, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Welcome to boot camp. What you and I are experiencing today is a training by God for war, for battle. This world is not paradise. This world is fraught with problems. There are problems of our own making, problems that grow out of greed and envy and, and uh, selfishness and, and lack of self-control and, and, and even hatred and bitterness. But there are also problems that really aren't of our own making. There are problems of disease and natural disaster and, and, and all sorts of problems that just seem to come our way. And I'd love to say that, hey, don't worry about it. God's going to take care of you. And he is. But the message is a little more subtle. One of the ways he takes care of us is by training our hands for war. He puts us into boot camp. He knows that it's not just a question of what happens to us today, but that there is a battle that is waged throughout our lives. We are constantly besieged by different problems and different issues and different troubles. And God trains us so that we walk through those victoriously in his name and to his glory and to his praise. Now, a lot of people think that the rules and, the, the, and, and instructions God has given us are, are just the persnickety maze of some bizarro scientist who's got a bunch of rats and wants to see if they can follow the maze to get out and get the cheese. Now, that's not what God's instructions are. God's instructions are guidance for how we should live this life to be victorious in the war. See, blessed be the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Whatever you and I experience today and how we walk through it in godliness is not only an issue for how we survive today, but it's an issue of how we survive in the coming wars and battles that we are most assuredly going to face if we continue to walk this earth. And so look at what happens to you today, be it good or be it difficult, as boot camp. Because you and I are being trained by the Lord, our rock, for war. May God bless you today.